Express your style and creativity by designing and laminating your own eye-catching pen blanks. Laminating your own pen blanks allows you to put to use small pieces of exotic scrap wood that might otherwise go to waste. Two basic types of design consist of angled and simple curved laminations. Mastering the process of these two laminations offers endless possibilities for creating your own designs. To create an angled lamination, cross-cut numerous strips of wood 3 quarter inches thick by 12 inches long. Fit your table saw with a zero clearance insert and a sharp carbide tooth blade. Then rip the strips at the same thickness or vary the thickness depending on the look you want. Use contrasting woods for a visually vibrant design. Cut enough strips for a lamination at least 5 inches wide, allowing the blanks to work for different size pen components. Although you could use regular woodworker's glue to laminate the blanks, we recommend medium to slow set epoxy because of its gap filling properties. Dispense a correct ratio of epoxy resin and hardener in a small cup. Mix thoroughly. Then, spread the epoxy evenly on all mating surfaces using an acid brush or craft stick. An even application ensures that no weak spots or gaps exist. Angle the ends of the strips to minimize waste when miter cutting later. To speed up the work of making numerous blanks, make a simple jig to support and align the strips. Clamp the pieces together, keeping the top and bottom surfaces flush. Use wax paper to protect your work surfaces. Allow the epoxy to cure overnight before removing the clamps. Using a bandsaw, miter saw, or a sled at the table saw, cross-cut 3 quarter inch wide strips from the lamination at 45 degrees. Then, trim the ends of the laminated blanks square and to length. To create a lamination with interior curves, start by cutting several blanks to a minimum of 3 quarter inches by 3 quarter inches by the appropriate length for your needed blank, plus half an inch. Use a French curve or other curved edge to mark a smooth, continuous curve on one surface of each blank. Or, if you have a steady hand, mark the curve freehand. Mark a curve on the adjacent surface. Bandsaw or scroll saw the curve to shape. Next, cut thin strips of wood about 1 16th inch thick by 3 quarter inch wide by the length of a blank plus 1 inch. Or, cut veneer into strips using a craft or utility knife. Apply adhesive to the mating surfaces and clamp the pieces together, keeping the bottom surfaces flush. After the adhesive dries, sand the laminated surface flush. Glue and clamp strips in place like done for the first curve. Remove the blank from the clamp setup and belt sand the rough laminated surface smooth. Cross cut the laminated blank to length and drill the appropriate size tube holes. Then glue the brass tube in place. Later, trim the ends of the blank flush with the tube and turn the blank to shape for your particular pen style. Laminating your own blanks allows you to create unique designs for stunning turn pens. Try different combinations of woods and patterns to craft your own style.